To examine the legs, the patient should be lying down and draped so that the genitalia are covered, but the legs are fully exposed. Inspect both legs from the groin to the toes, noting symmetry in size, shape, and color. Also, note areas of swelling, discoloration, rashes, scars, ulcers, and abnormal venous patterns. On the lower legs, feet, and toes, observe the color and texture of the skin and nail beds and the distribution of hair. Next, assess the skin temperature of the feet and lower legs with the backs of your fingers. If you notice unusual coolness or temperature differences, check further up the legs. Next, palpate the femoral pulse by placing your fingers midway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the symphysis pubis and pressing deeply below the inguinal ligament. Just medial to the femoral pulse, palpate for tenderness of the femoral vein. Then, palpate the superficial inguinal nodes, including the vertical group, and horizontal group. Note the size, consistency, discreteness, and tenderness of any palpable nodes. Small, mobile, non-tender inguinal nodes are often palpable in normal adults. Examine the opposite inguinal area in the same way. If the patient is very obese, you may need to place one hand on top of the other, like this, to facilitate examination of the femoral pulse and inguinal area. I'd like to check the pulses in your knees now. To examine the popliteal pulse, slightly flex the patient's knee. Press the fingertips of both hands deeply into the popliteal fossa, slightly lateral to the midline. The popliteal pulse is frequently more difficult to find than other pulses because it is deeper and more diffuse. Compare this pulse with the popliteal pulse on the other side. If the popliteal pulse is difficult to find, try this approach. With the patient prone, flex his knee to 90 degrees. Let his lower leg relax against your shoulder or upper arm and press your thumbs deeply into the popliteal fossa. Next, assess the dorsalis pedis pulse by palpating the dorsum of the foot, just lateral to the extensor tendon of the big toe. If you cannot feel a pulse, move laterally. The dorsalis pedis pulse may be congenitally absent. Check the posterior tibial pulse by curving your fingers behind and slightly below the medial malleolus of the ankle. Then feel for both of these pulses on the other foot.